All right, what do I do on the last dude? I just, just make sure it doesn't twist or I fall or anything like that. Here's the watch out. So if I can get a little pressure on it, uh, on the tree to pull it back, to keep it from falling where I want it to go then. And then I'll do this one for that one maybe. Okay, let's try that one coming down. So this kind of stuff, I don't like doing by myself. Well, not necessarily on ladders, but do stuff where I could actually fall. Because remember, I'm always out here by myself. During this trip, there was a few things I wanted to get done, and of course, I never know how much I will get done while I'm here. But today, my son is here, he's gonna be here for the next couple of days, so there won't be any real major work because I'm going to spend some time with him. So as you saw a few minutes ago in the beginning of this video, I wanted to cut a few trees that were close to the house. And as you can see, I have the come along along with a chain on it and another piece to straighten the first tree up because what's happening is that this tree was actually leaning towards the house and if I didn't cut it right now I couldn't put in the porch and I'm not sure exactly when the porch is going in but I wanted to make sure that I cut trees as I go because this tree as I said was leaning towards the house so this was a good opportunity since my son was here he could give me a hand with it or just be out there because a lot of times I don't like to do a lot of stuff like this by myself because if I have an accident um, no one would know so I could go ahead and have him here and have him help me so I'm cutting the tree and the idea is for the come along to pull the tree away from the house so it won't fall towards the house or if I had the porch up, it wouldn't fall towards the porch. So this tree and about four or five others will have to come out so that I'm not threatened by trees in case of storms and things like that. So that's what the remainder of this video is about. Just me cutting this tree and another tree. So as it stands, I'm only going to cut a couple of trees in this video. There is another tree that's close to the house on the left side of the house as you face the house that's actually leaning towards the back of the house. I want to go ahead and cut that out but in order to cut that out I need to cut about four or five trees in front of it so that when I cut that tree it'll fall right to the ground. If I don't cut the trees in front of it they will hold the tree up and it won't fall. Since I've been here, I've cleared an area so that I could put in my septic tank, which meant that I cut out a bunch of trees over there so that cutting these other larger trees would just be a matter of time. And since I've been here, I don't know exactly how much time I'm going to have to cut all these trees and get other things done. But like I said, since my son is here, I wanted to go ahead and get it done and I wanted to show him the progress that's been done around the house also because when he was here last 
it was quite a bit different and each time I come here I'm able to get some work done so that I can keep this project going I don't need to do it fast but I want to keep it going because once I come down when I leave I want to make sure I've done something so that I can keep inching towards that that finish line that is there of course it's no rush because I just enjoy being out in the woods and nature by myself with very little noise and actually no people that's what I love most about being down here but I do want to get some work done while I'm here so cutting trees and bucking them is something that actually you can tell when that happens because you see more space and of course with this wood I'm going to build a pile because it will become wood for the wood burning stove because that's something I've done here also is putting in the wood burning stove is something that I want to do before I leave also and since I'm cutting these trees I won't I'll no longer haul them away to my brother's house because since I've been here all the trees that I cut I usually just cut them down load them onto the truck and I take them to his place so that he could use them for firewood but now I'm getting to the point where I need firewood myself so all the trees I cut today and yesterday and while I'm here will get cut up I'll make a stack of wood and I'll use that for the wood burning stove once that gets going I think probably the next time I come down maybe once more this year or towards the end of the year it'll be getting cold so this wood should be dried out a little bit so that I could burn it in the wood burning stove just to keep some heat going because it does get a little chilly out here at night sometimes especially when it's getting towards winter so that's what's going to happen while we're here and as you can see it's going okay my son's standing around watching because that's pretty much all he can do is just basically watch and make sure that I don't kill myself with this chainsaw thus far everything has been going well I've not had any incidences with the chainsaw because I am pretty careful because at the beginning of this project I knew that I would be out here most of the time alone so that I try not to do too much and do any really sketchy things because we never know when the saw will kick back or do something crazy and since he's here I don't have my chaps on I know that's probably not a real good excuse but at least if he's here he'll be able to get me to urgent care or something like that uh, providing I can tell him the way because he doesn't really know very much around here but at any rate we did have a pretty good time cutting these trees out today and bucking them I will more than likely just buck them later because we're going to get out of here and head back out of the woods and maybe have dinner or something like that and do the father-son thing and just kind of hang out because he's only going to be here overnight or something so I don't want to be out here working all the time I do want to spend some time with them so that we can get caught up and just kind of hang out because as I said this is really not that urgent where I can't stop working to at least have a decent time so that's what's going on and as we get going or continue to do all that we do you'll be able to see how the space just opens up because there are quite a few trees I need to cut back and cut out because a lot of them are pretty strangly and they are just skinny and trying to grow up to find the sun but since I'm installing solar panels I'm going to need more open space where I can get more sun from clear skies without it being covered by shadows from trees and leaves in the whole nine yards. So it's always an ongoing thing. So that's what we're working with right now. So that's what we have. So until the next video, we'll see you.